injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him and bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was like family to me. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Hardly anything left. <laughs> what were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. 
Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. all be grateful you you knew my father well no but judging by all the lovely whoa whoa what the heck seriously bruce this guy's with you i'm so sorry i will handle this jeez bruce that's quite a grip gonna leave a bruise for sure what are you doing here I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something, just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You think this is funny? My friend is dead. I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. You gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. At so many points in your lives. And now, he's gone. A vital link. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I mean, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. 
Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Put that away. This is a funeral, for God's sake. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone, so I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. Uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Ah, I'll bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do, finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne has a talent for finding himself in the crosshairs. 
Uh, you can say that again. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. Looks like gang activity is heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> I heard you got all buddy-buddy with her after I was out of earshot. Told her about that puzzle you got from Riddler. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How oh, so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk, and believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me, and I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you were the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman. She keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find River before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come not. I told Waller about our lead on this place. She's caught up in briefings, can't get here for a while. She said she appreciates the cooperation. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vain, isn't he? See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Get out. We go in. After you. I 
give me a good, honest crack house any day. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. One of his pupils is fully dilated. The other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. Well, there's no sign of a blow to the head. tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. That's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. I'm 
another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Won't budge. It must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. missing their senses like the monkey statues you're right there must be a connection there are bleeds inside and a lot of blood huh we know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. A Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. Strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. 
More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Starting to sense a theme here. That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that chute to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. sense. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. shoe caught fire inside the murder box so he opened it in a panic as soon as he was out of the box he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it somewhere in the confusion he must have missed something crucial from where he lost his shoe the agent beeline for the wall of safes he opened one but chose poorly the blade sliced off his fingers, and there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes, mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The Batsuit's armor is heat resistant. 
It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Wow, well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Now, oh, damn it. It's still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. Ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the savings! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... that's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Why are you doing this, Riddler? Haven't you killed enough? I have a lot of enemies, Batman. While they're still breathing, I still have work to do. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes. To want that government scum in your corner. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. 
That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. Don't you dare put your crimes on me. <laughs> Come on, Batman. I gave the puzzle to you, didn't I? It's not my fault you couldn't solve it. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox... And the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... I doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Whatever you do, this has to stay between us. Oh, does it? Because I, what, just happened to stumble into it? I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. If you really think it's important this stays between us, then I won't say a word. Batman. I'm sorry for your loss.